So we're here and we're marking up for our draw. And the very first measurement you're gonna require is how tall your draw is gonna be. Now for me, I can see over here that that's sitting at 92 and that that is sitting at 92. So the max height my draw can be then is 91 millimeters because you need gap for movement, space for movement. So I'm gonna drop that down, 91 millimeters. From here, we need to measure the length from here to here. Now, because of these gaps here, because of this, you can't get a nice even view of how far that needs to be. Now, if you can't access that and get a close measurement, what you're gonna come through and do is just use that 300 mil rule, come through, mark at the 30 mil line or the 300 mil line, then come back and measure the other way. Now, for me, I can see that mine's sitting at 354 millimeters. So I'm gonna knock mine down to 352 for the front. So 352 millimeters. So that's gonna give me a millimeter on each side. Now you don't want it any smaller than that. That's the absolute smallest you want it, but it's also the absolute biggest you want it. So we really wanna try and keep it as close to the measurement as possible while still allowing some room for sliding in and out, but also movement as timber grows and shrinks slightly throughout the seasons. Finally, my front is 350 three millimeters. And I always recommend checking both sides because it does vary a little bit sometimes. And 353 for me. So I'm gonna change that down to 352. And then if there's an issue with it going too far back, I can just put a little blocker there of a mill to stop that. Now, there is an option here where you can do a false front. Now a false front will come through and it will hide any dovetails that you've done. That's very important to do so because it comes through and it removes that feature if you don't want it. Now I'm gonna make mine as if I was making it with a false front, and then if I find I like the dovetails, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a blocker at the back to stop the draw going as far back. So for that, I need to realize that to have a false front, I need to remove 20 millimeters, or 18 millimeters, because that, nine, sorry, 19 millimeters, because that's what our front's coming off our product, and so that'll take me back to three, three, three millimeters, 333 millimeters. After you've done that, this is what I want you to come and show me, to show me that you're ready to make your draw. You've got your drawing, just a nice little box draw there, as you can see. You've got the, the height of the overall, you've got the width of the overall draw, and you've got the length of the overall draw. Now, my length and width happen to be the same. That is a coincidence, it was not intentional when I was making this. I didn't think about it, I didn't plan for it. So please be aware. And then I want you to give me a measurement for if you decide to make a false front. Because ultimately we're gonna to plan to make false fronts and if you like it with the dovetail, we'll just put a packer in at the back. Anyway, after you bring me this, it'll mean I can prep your stock, cut it down to width for you, so that you can then go ahead and cut the rest of it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.